Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel and subscribing. In this video, we're gonna be looking at Albino 3 and how to create a wobble base. Uh, we're all gonna follow that up with some automation in Logic Pro 9. So what I have here is a track that I put together and if you could just take try to listen to the bass line, um, and that's the effect we're gonna actually create. So this is a little track I put together and then I'm gonna show you how I created it. So here goes. <laughs> Okay, so now um, we're going to go ahead and play the bass line all by itself. So that's what it sounds like. Um, I have a template in the back that we're going to look at right now, and we're going to set it up in here. So just go down and select a track, and then go to the I.O., left click, and select AU Instruments, and pull up your Albino 3. Once it opens, go ahead and go down to the master section down here. And in the top part of that, left click and select Diverse Sounds. Once you've done that, directly below Diverse Sounds, there's another little window. Just click on that, scroll all the way to the bottom, and select Z underscore Initial Presets. Once that's actually been in there, you have a, a basic sound to work with. So this is what it sounds like right now. So that's our basic sound, and we're going to go ahead and modify this now. So first thing you want to go ahead and do is in Oscillator 1 section, change it to Digital. Drop it down to um, one octave, and then over here where it says Send, change it to um, Square 1. So just left click on Send. Classical, hold your mouse on classical, or open up to another side menu, will pop open and select square one. Then down here on the, in the oscillator two section, go ahead and turn that on, little power button here, and now you have two sounds playing. And change this down two octaves. One, two. That's starting to sound better already. So the next thing we need to do is over here in the LFO section, we need to change some stuff in this in this area. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on uh, LFO one, put it, change the wave to sin, and then put the sync. I'm gonna actually set it up on one eight. You can just click on this and, and um, it'll open up, and then just find your whatever one you want to put on. Maybe one eight. <coughs> Once you're done doing that, <coughs> excuse me. Go ahead and go back to the mod matrix, and we want to change this right here, where it says um, main pitch. Just left click and select filter one and select uh, cutoff, filter one cutoff. And then in this middle section here between where it says LFO and then filter cutoff, just hold down your left mouse button, and play the note, and you'll hear what happens. So the next thing you can do is you can play around with the um, the filters up here and play around with the saturation. Changes to um, let's see, one fourth.
So you can play around with the cutoff. Let's speed it up a little. Turn on the different type of filters. Okay, so we have a little pattern there that we can play around with. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some automation to this now. <coughs> we have a sound that sounds pretty cool, so we can use this to automate. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Next thing we want to go ahead and do is look, click on the automation section. And right here where it says volume, you're going to click it, hold down your left mouse button, select the Albino 3, select layer 1. Now you're going to have a whole bunch of different controls in here that you can pick from. Um, so one we're going to look for right now is, um, and actually let me open up the um, Albino so you can see how to identify some of these controls. So for the filter, filter one, it says cream. So there's all these different options you can you can pick. There's there's cream, there's cream, uh, uh, COMB, and silk, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it on cream, and we want to make sure we pick the filter for cream. So each one of these um, different options in here has different settings that you can pick from for the automation. So what we're gonna do right now is, and I hope you can see this, but so a little bit more, is we're going to go ahead and change the cutoff for the cream filter. So if you just click on this, uh, go to Albino 3, layer 1, scroll all the way down until you see a CR filter. CR represents cream, so that's how everything is broken out in here. So we're looking for CR uh, filter cut, so here it is right here, so CR filter 1 cutoff. So that's the one we want right there. So I select it, and as you can see here, this is filter one, cream, and this is the cutoff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select my pencil tool, 
and I'm going to start drawing in the modulation. Now if you pay attention over here, uh, you'll see that the cutoff will go up and down based on what I'm actually what parameters I'm putting in here. So now you can see in filter one cream that the cutoff is going up and down nice and smoothly. automation for the saturation. <clears throat> Go back down to your track where the albino is and hold your left mouse button down to albino 3, select layer 1, <coughs> and this time you want to go ahead and look for um, an item called saturation 1. So scroll all the way down, everything is uh, listed in alphabetical order, numerical and alphabetical order. So you want to find saturation 1. So scroll all the way down to the S section and here we go, saturation one. So there's saturation types one and two. So this is for filters one and two, but you don't want to change the saturation type. Basically, you turn on and off or switch the saturation types as you wish, but I'm leaving mine right now on, on saturation type three. And just make sure you pick saturation one here. Now we can automate the saturation. Thank you. 
Our saturation is going, our cutoff is going, and that's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you create a wobble base in Albino 3 and Automatic and Logic Pro 9. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks again for all your support. Stay tuned for more.